So, we had calculated in the, in the previous part the denominator of, of this particular of this, this expression here. We had this expression uh, which was the probability distribution of the state given, uh, given the information and we were calculating that probability distribution. Uh, we calculated only the denominator of that. We, uh, I, I will just show you what the actual expression then turns out to be. So, the numerator, uh, the, the numerator here is, is this given, given S. This numerator turns out to be in fact one third times one fourth times two third times three fourth plus one third times one fourth. So, if I if I put these together the prob we get the probability of x 1 equal to p bar given g g s given this information turns out to be just 1 by 1 by 7. So, as a result of this we can now go back and ask what is g j 1 of g g s here j 1 of g g s remember was the minimum of these two terms which is the cost of cost of taking action cost from c and the cost from s. Cost from s was all was, was 1 and cost of cost from c is 2 times this probability the, pro, uh, the probability of x 1 equal to p bar given i 1 cost of s is 1. So, we have computed this probability to be 2 by 7 uh, to, uh, sorry to be 1 by uh, to be 1 by 7. As a result of that the uh, this here is the minimum of now 2 by 7 and 1 and 2 by 7 is less than 1. So, therefore, this becomes 2 by 7 and the optimal action to take at time 1 when you have information g g s the optimal action is is to is to simply continue that means keep running the machine. Now, we can do this again for the information when the information is b g s. So, let me write this as case 2 when i 1 is equal to b g s when i 1 is equal to b g s we can again compute these probabilities it turns out that the probability that the machine is in in uh, state p bar given b g s remember b here is just z 0 g is z 1 s is u 0. So, this probability it turns out this probability is actually equal to uh, the 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 same as before it is equal to all again 1 by 1 by 7. So, in this case then we can write j 1 of b g s is, is also equal to 2 by 7 because a similar expression will will be written out there as well. So, you will again have so, so in place of in place of this probability now we have this probability, but the the numerical value is the same they are both 1 by 7 and so as a result of that j 1 of b g s is turns out to also be equal to 2 by 7 and mu 1 star of b g s is is also c right. So, this is when the information is b g and s. Now, let us let us go to the next next case what are the other cases possible remember there we have uh, remember here that z 0 and z 1 can both be either b and g or g u 0 can be either c or s. So, in other words i 1 can take 8 possible values. So, we need to really do this for each, each of the 8 possible values of i 1. So, so far we have completed 2. So, now let us go to case 3. So, i 1 we can here i 1 is now g b s. So, in this case we can compute that the probability that this that the machine is uh, is broken in this this can be computed as to be 3 by 5 
and then we get from here that J1 of G B S is unity, mu 1 star of G B S is equal to S. Case 4, So for case 1 where I 1 is B B S we again get this probability to be the same as the one above we get it to be uh, I 1 B B S this probability also turns out to be 3 by 5 and as a result of that J 1 of B B S is The optimal action in this case is to uh, is to stop. So, in case 3 and case 4 the option optimal action is to stop and inspect and the reason it turns out to be uh, we need to stop and inspect is because, uh, yeah, because remember this probability is now 3 by 5 this probability is 3 by 5 this times our cost cost is 2. So, 2 times 3 by 5 will give us 6 by 5 and that is that that is 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 greater than that is greater than the cost from stopping. So, we are we are looking at uh, the, the minimum of these two. So, that turns out to be turns out to be uh, the, the minimizing action is to stop and that turns and that gives you a cost of cost of unity. So, now let us go to case 5 and case 6. Case 5 would be when the information is G, G and C. So, here this turns out to be 1 by 5. Now, then since this is 1 by 5, the cost form continuing is going to be 2 by 5 and that will be less than uh, the cost from stopping. So, as a result um, in this case the optimal action is to actually continue. So, J 1 of C C G is 2 by 5 and mu 1 star of C G G oh sorry this is my mistake here this is C G G C is to continue. Then case 6 when the information is B G C, when the information is B G C probability of x 1 equal to p bar B G C this is equal to 11 by it turns out to be equal to 11 by 23. And since this is 11 by 23, again the cost form continuing is going to be 22 by 23, which is less than 1, uh, which is the cost from stopping. So, again the optimal action here from BGC is, is again to continue and this is the optimal cost. Second last case is the case when I 1 is JB, GBC here then the probability of the machine being broken it turns out to be 9 by 13 and therefore the cost from continuing is now larger than the cost from stopping and so the optimal cost the, uh, the cost to go from at in state GBC is is unity and the and the optimal action is to stop.
in the final state in the final case when the information is B, B, C this probability of x 1 equal to p bar is 33 by 37 and the optimal action in the state B, B, C is, is to stop and the cost to go turns out to be turns out to be unity. Okay. So, here I have written out all the all these remaining cases case 3 to case 4. Now, what you will observe in case 3 and case 4 is that the probability that the machine is broken in either of these two cases that means when I 1 is GB, GBS or BBS the, the probability that the machine is broken at, at time 1 is, is 3 by 5. Now, 3 this is to be multiplied by the cost remember the cost uh, the cost was 2. So, the cost from continuing is actually uh, for us is 2 times this the probability under consideration. So, that is 2 times 3 by 5 and that gives us the cost from continuing as 6 by 5 and that is greater than the cost from stopping which is the cost of stopping is 1. So, we get 3 we are comparing 6 by 5 with 1 and so therefore, the optimal action is to actually stop. So, that applies in this in both of these cases. In case 5 and case 6 uh, uh, we uh, in case 5 we have the probability of the machine being broken as 1 by 5. So, the cost is 2 by 5 cost of continuing is 2 by 5 and that is less than the cost of stopping. So, the optimal action is to continue. The, the uh, in case 6 the cost of the probability of the machine is broken is 11 by 23 the cost of continuing turns out to be 22 by 23 and the and that the, the optimal action then is to continue. In, in case 7 the, the, the probability that the machine is broken is 9 by 13. Now, the cost of continuing then will become twice this which is 18 by 13 and 18 by 13 is greater than 1. So, therefore, the, the optimal action is to stop and, uh, and uh, the cost of uh, the cost to go is 1. The same same holds in in uh, in case eight. The cost uh, the the probability of uh, of the machine being broken is 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 to 33 by 37, and the and therefore the optimal action is to is to uh, is to stop here. The optimal action is is to stop. All right. So, in uh, so you can notice here that we uh, there are some very intuitive observations uh, that we can make. For example, in the last case here, if the machine has if your is, uh, inspection has led to readings uh, has led to readings bad and bad for the last two occasions, the probability that the machine is broken is is rather high. It's 33 by 37, and so therefore the optimal action for you to take at that time is uh, the optimal action that you need to take at that time is to stop and inspect the machine. So, that is that is what uh, that is what we find here. The you, you uh, we, we continue to run the machine until the op, uh, until the the uh, the cost of continuing does not become too much and the cost of continue for the cost of continuing to become too much the evidence has to be there that the machine is probably broken. So, for that if the machine has so far uh, so far never uh, uh, never given you good uh, never given you bad uh, uh, has never been uh, has has always given good inspection the inspection has always been good uh, the outcome of the inspection has always been good then we really do not need to bother we just continue. So, it is G and G then you just continue and that is you can that uh, that is the optimal action you uh, we 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 continue uh, we even when the earlier reading was bad and the current reading is good we continue because this uh, we we uh, it's it's a borderline almost near a borderline case you get that the cost of continuing is almost one it's 22 by 23 but it's still less than one so we continue but uh, if but here in this case what's happened is that the uh, the uh, the the bad rating was further in the past and the good rating was more recent maybe that is why the optimal action here is to continue. 
if, if when I switch these two when the good rating was in the past and the bad rating is more recent it turns out that the optimal action is to stop and inspect. So, the machine has gone from good state to bad state and you need to now, uh, now uh, take a look at the machine right. So, the same same has happened here when the machine has gone from good state to bad state we have we need to take an action S and, and stop and inspect the machine right. So, this here has has told given us what the optimal thing to do at time 1 is. Okay. So, uh, so this is this is we got these 8 cases because there were 8 possible values for the information that we would have at time 1. Now, uh, so to summarize our policy is, uh, is the policy can be thought of at time 1. optimal policy, the optimal policy at time 1 is to continue if the result of the last inspection was G and to stop if the result of the last inspection was B. So, looking back at all of these we find that the optimal policy actually has a very simple and intuitive uh, form uh, as I have summarized uh, as uh, we have gone through above we, it can be summarized as following as follows. The optimal policy at time 1 is to continue if the result of the last inspection was G and it is to stop if the result of the last inspection is B. So, if we find that the machine is broken at the uh, as per the last inspection then we stop uh, and uh, we uh, was in a bad state as per the last inspection then we just stop otherwise we continue that is uh, that is what the optimal policy at time 1 is. Now, let us go to uh, let us go to stage 1 ok the first stage that means k equal to 0. Let us now write this for k equal to 0 here we now need to plug in plug in whatever we have computed. Uh, uh, for for j1 so we have computed j1 of i1 for various values of i1 that needs to be plugged in here now as part of the dp equation so here so in our at 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 k equal to 1 this term was 0 whereas in at k equal to 0 this term is not 0 anymore so this needs to be we need to plug this in and um, as part of the as part of the dp equation so, let us write out what what uh, what the cost is from continuing and cost from stopping in at uh, at stage at k equal to 0. So, the cost from continuing the cost of action C remember this is going to be the sum of the expected stage wise cost and the expected conditional expected stage wise cost and the conditional expectation of the cost to go that we have computed in the previous step. So, the cost of uh, of C this remember is so once again we have a similar term we have 2 times the probability that the machine is broken given the information and given that we have taken an action C. But now plus we have also this term which is the expectation of Z1 given of j1 of i0 c and z1 given i0 and c. Right. So, this can be written more explicitly as twice probability that x0 is equal to p bar i0 comma c plus 
probability of z1 equal to g given i0 comma c times j1 of i0 g c. So, let me write this in the in a different order let me write z1 first and then let us write the action that is that is the way we have written it so far. So, let us write this and then the action c. So, this is therefore i0 g c plus probability of z1 equals b given i0 c times j1 of i0 b c. So, the cost this is the cost of taking action c. Now, the cost of of stopping and inspecting and or stopping and repairing this will now have the expected cost uh, of, of stage wise cost which was 1 as before plus now the it uh, an analogous term from the one above. So, you have j 1 of now i 0 z 1 s given i 0 given i 0 s and that is equal to i 1 plus probability that z 1 is now equal equal to g given i 0 s times j 1 of i 0 g s plus probability that z 1 is equal to b given i 0 s times j 1 of i 0 b s all right. So, this is the expression. Now, j 1 of uh, the uh, j 1 at each of at for all these values can be computed by putting in specific values for i 0. Remember i 0 is just the information at time 0 the information at time 0 is simply the observation at the result of the first inspection. So, that can take only two possible values which is g and uh, g and b. So, we let us put that in here. So, case 1 now is i 0 is equal to g. So, then we can just do a direct calculation uh, from here. We uh, so, in this case we can compute each of these probabilities easily. So, we have the we need to compute the probability that z 1 is g given uh, given that given g g uh, g g c. So, we need to remember compute the uh, the following probabilities. So, we need to compute the following uh, the the following probabilities here we need to compute this this probability here we need to compute the this sort of these probabilities 1, 2, 3 and 4. These probabilities uh, the the 4 the 4 probabilities of uh, uh, related to z are the probabilities that of seeing an observation g uh, observe a certain observation at the next time step given that given the information. So, those probabilities need to be computed and we also need to compute the probability uh, this particular probability here which is the probability that the machine is broken given the information we have so far. Okay. So, the let us write out these probabilities probability that z 1 is equal to g given g c this turns out to be 15 by 28 probability that z 1 is b given g c is 1 minus that. So, it is 13 by 28 probability that z 1 is equal to g given g s is 7 by 12 probability that z 1 is equal to g given g s uh, sorry z 1 is equal to b given g s is 5 by 12 and the probability that x 0 is equal to p bar given g c is 1 by 7. 
So, in this in case 1 we now we see that these are the probabilities for for uh, for the 4 terms that I have for the 5 terms that I have highlighted. So, the, the these this is what they turn out to be. So, as a result of this I we can now uh, we can now write that j 0 of of g is the minimum of the, the cost from C and the cost from S. So, the cost from C can be written out as 2 times 1 by 7 plus 15 by 28 j 1 of g g c plus 13 by 28 j 1 of g b c and so this is the cost from uh, the cost from taking action c and the cost from stopping is 1 plus 7 by 12 j 1 of g g s plus 5 by 12 j 1 of g b s. So, this here is the cost cost from C and this is your cost from cost from S. We can uh, uh, we now have from our previous calculation we have values of j 1 for each of these uh, that are that are uh, that are written out here. See notice here we have these this 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 and similarly this and this these are the four uh, eight cases for which we have written out the values of j 1 and those can be now plugged in into this expression here in place of in place of these these but these j, these j ones here once we plug those in and uh, and do the remaining calculations it turns out that j 0 of g is just 27 by 28 and uh, the optimal action in when you have information g is to continue. So, the optimal action um, uh, uh, is when the, when the first reading is, is good is to simply continue. A similar calculation can be done when the first reading is, is B. In that case, it turns out that so uh, case this is for case 2 I 0 equal to equal to B. In that case also now J 0 of B is turns out to be 19 by 12 and mu 0 star of of B the optimal action in that case is to stop. So, if it says basically that if the machine is in a bad state uh, in the in during the first inspection itself then you stop and inspect the machine and, and get a get a complete inspection done and repair the machine. So, the summary in this uh, for this policy is is that if we have a if we get a bad answer from the inspection then we, we stop and, and repair the machine uh, otherwise we just continue. We now need to we, we have therefore now the uh, the 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 j 0 the cost to go computed when the information is g and the information is b. We now need to com uh, to compute the optimal cost j star we need the probability that the information is g or the information is b. So, uh, so we we to co the uh, the the optimal cost j star is is given by the probability that the that z 0 is equal to g times j 0 is equal to g plus the j 0 of g plus probability that z 0 is equal to b times j 0 of, of b. Now, probability that z 0 is equal to g uh, can be computed z 0 of equal to g this probability can be computed as 7 by 12 the probability of z 0 equal to b is is 5 by 12 
remember this is here comes from our observation equations here and we need from here we need to compute uh, we need to multiply we need to use all we, we have these observation equations out here and we need to use that the initial the probability of the initial state being p, p 0 uh, p bar or p ok that we from so we from there we will get these probabilities the probability of getting an observation good or bad and then we once we substitute this we get that j star is actually can be computed and you can check this is equal to 176 by 144. So, this, this example showed us a, a complete demonstration of how one needs to do uh, the needs to do dynamic programming in uh, when you have uh, you know when we uh, when we actually have the uh, uh, incomplete or imperfect information of the state. So, we need to notice we have taken a long time to solve this particular problem and that is because the information vector is uh, grows with time and therefore can take many number of values and we need to we need to write so, uh, compute the dp equation at each step for each of the values of the information vector. 